a fate worse than death is to live a life that was prescribed to you that you simply accepted to be the truth without ever exploring life and who you can possibly be. When I talk about death in this context, I do not mean the death of you as a person who is dying, but I mean a spiritual death that echoes the quote of Benjamin Franklin, where he says that some people die at 25 and are only buried in like their 70s. This simply means that many people have gotten lost along the road to greatness and some people don't even know it's there. For example, when we talk about sin, we talk about the Greek archery term missing the mark. And if you never had a mark to aim for, then of course you will miss the mark. And it is only by the skills that you learn and develop and the values that you develop over time that you know what this mark is that you're supposed to hit. But the people who live prescribed lives do not know what this mark is. For example, if you were raised by a single mother, maybe you believe the things that they told you because ultimately we're a product of the people who teach us how to live, but they are unskilled themselves. I mean, even a billionaire could be unskilled when it comes to communication, for example. Now, you might believe certain things about money and that's why you don't earn it. You might believe certain things about... I, I discovered today that I believe that salesmen were sleazy and that's why I do not want to be a salesman. But then I learned that salesmen are actually people who bring great value to other people. Another thing that causes early death in men is this fact that you don't know that there are skills out there to learn that can get you to where you want to be. Even knowing that there is a place where you want to be is a skill all on its own. You die. Slowly the world has throttled you into believing that a person is this and then you need to conform to that even though you hate it. And that's a skill deficit. It could be a mentality skill, the way that you think about problems and that the way you reason and resolve and get out of them. It could be a physical skill that you learn how to sell. Some sort of problem that you can solve for someone else can earn you money. And if you don't know that skill, it's costing you much, probably millions. For every skill that you don't know or didn't develop, you are losing out on the man that you could or can become. Many turn inwards because they're so full of this pain and resentment at living the life that was prescribed to them. They fall into this victimhood and they end up trying to cure themselves with all the wrong things. They don't learn skills or do the hard thing or commit to anything, but instead they decide, well, to solve my pain, I am going to start with this bad addiction and this and this and this and this and this. I've been there, so I know what pain can do. I know what poverty can do to the mind. The only thing you start looking for when you've died is a way out. It causes you to not be present in life anymore. And when you're not present, you can't contribute value to anyone or anything. You can't care for yourself when you're not present. Why would you want to live like that? I am here to tell you that there are ways in which you can learn skills to live a life that you want to live. Because, let's face it, your parents could have raised you well, but there are a lot of skills that they don't have. Many people don't have vision anymore. The mark that they aim for is on the ground. Now let's think about this. When you are an archer and you are looking at the target, you're looking in front of you, your eyes are up, your body is postured in a certain way, you are ready to draw the bow, you concentrate, you let loose, and even if you miss the goal, at least you still aimed for it. But so many of us are dying because we don't even have anything to aim for. Because this confidence to aim was robbed from us a long time ago. The confidence to dream and to set the dream into motion was robbed of you. Because there are people who didn't achieve their dreams. They didn't have the skills to do it. And they tell you, you can't do it. 
all because they don't know that there is a simple skill gap that can be filled. For everything you don't know, you are losing millions. You are losing friends. You are losing life. I don't know you yet, but I know that you are better than this. You are better than playing the victim. Every tattoo you get is not going to solve your pain. Every alcohol thing that you drink is not going to solve your pain. Every woman that you sleep with is not going to solve your pain. The only way to solve your pain is be, to become confident in certain skills and to use them. Because when you are competent and the world rewards you for that, that is its own reward. I saw a client today and I was asked to advise on many things and I did it well. And I wasn't satisfied because I could do my job. I was satisfied because I could add value to someone's life. Because ultimately, as humans, we are here to serve others. That's also a skill. Do not die a young death. I am imploring that you become a great man. Do not fall for lust. Do not fall for wrath or envy or sloth or gluttony. Those will bring your death. How many great men could have lived when they fell for lust? Maybe they got AIDS. Maybe they got a child. What about wrath? In one moment of anger, now you're in prison. What about lust? What about wrath? What about gluttony? How many of you are overweight right now because you're trying to solve the problem with food? Let's get real. I have much empathy for you. Sloth. You can't face the world, so you spend it in bed. But the world that you face is the world that you create. So if you, if you accept responsibility for the world that you are creating, then it's easy because maybe you did a shit job of creating a world for yourself and you can't face it. But maybe you're lacking the skill to create a good world for yourself. All I'm telling you basically is that you need to aim at something good. And in order to do this, there are a multitude of tiny steps that you can take. If you want to fix your sleep schedule, you can't just change it all in one go. But you can start with baby steps until you are flawless in your goal. Why improve your sleep? Well, why not? Sleep is in charge of all your hormone production and your mood regulation. Why improve your food? Because... Well, hormones and gut health and all of those things come from the foods you eat. Why not improve that? Why not have a high fiber diet with high protein? Why not? Do not die a young death. Do not be led astray by the people closest to you. Just because they didn't achieve their dreams doesn't mean you can't. Learn the skills that you need to. Become competent. Start helping people. Earn the money. Enjoy your life. And teach the same for others. You've got this.